So what is Timini Method? Well, it's really an involvement of method acting. So let, let me explain. I first came into contact with method acting when I was a young boy. Um, my dad brought home a copy of The Godfather and in that film was predominantly method actors in it. And I watched Marlon Brando, you know, sitting, you know, toying with this cat while he talked about how he was going to destroy his enemies. And I watched Al Pacino, uh, you know, the sheer panic that he brought into his eyes before he went into a, a quiet restaurant to kill an enemy. So from those initial moments, you know, I was completely hooked. You know, I was watching a level of acting that was so deep, subtle and profound that it had a, a huge impact on me at that stage. It was years later, of course, when I studied the, the technique myself, um, that I realized how amazing it was and um, how transformative for an actor it is. And I, I have to be honest, it's like I never ex thought about, you know, doing any other technique after that point. And the technique I'm talking about is Lee Strasberg's method. And, um, but that's up until, that, I would have said that was the truth up until recently. So let me tell you what's happened of late, back in 2012, I went to see a production, um, a theatre production that kind of transformed what I believed and understood about acting. Now, I, I don't say that lightly because I've been in the industry 30 years, you know, I've studied in depth nearly every technique that you want to mention. Um, you can, these are some of the books actually that I've, that I've used to study and it's only a selection. Um, when it comes to understanding the method approach and the, the techniques before Lee Strasberg's method as well. So, you know, I, I really thought I knew it all um, and I was wrong. And it turns out that this particular production, which was a Russian production by the Van Tangle Theatre Company um, of Uncle Vanya, and it, it was absolutely amazing. The, the, the level of depth of feeling and expression was unbelievable. And I really thought at that time, I thought, you know, who, who is this Van Tangoff, right? Now, I'd heard about Eugene Van Tangoff because Lee Strasberg often spoke about him. In fact, he often spoke about how much Van Tangoff influenced his work. So I thought I've really got to go in depth now into that, that particular individual's work, and um, I did. And lucky enough at the time, there was a lot of material coming out because a lot of his work and also the work of Nikolai Demidov was suppressed by the Russian government because it kind of conflicted with the work of Stanislavski. Now you probably know Konstantin Stanislavski was the man who first um, developed the method idea and, and brought, brought it to actor training. However, what happened was that Stanislavski didn't really teach his own system. He handed it over to other teachers to teach. And two of them were um, Van Tangoff and, and Demidov. And when they started to teach Stanislavski's system, they found that it was, it was very difficult to teach, in fact. There's too many things to think about. There was too many moving parts. You had to think about units. You had to think about actions. You had to think about centers of concentration. It was, it was really quite um, logically top heavy. And they didn't want that. They wanted to free the actors so they could be more creative and expressive. So they changed the technique and they made it more organic and more immersive and free. And, and that is really what came into print and into the West only of late. Because as I said, the Russian government at the time didn't want people to conflict with Stanislavski who is world renowned basically for his, for his work in, in, in actor training. So anyway, I got my hands on this information and I went deep into it. I studied everything in connection with it. Um, I even went, ended up going to Russia myself, to Moscow, to speak to professors and master teachers and, and really understand from the horse's mouth what the, the approaches were. And what I discovered was that there was a, there was a big similarity between uh, Vitangov's work, Demidov's work and Lee Strasberg's work. There was also differences within it, but there, there's no doubt that there was um, huge influences between them all. And some of the material that was coming into print now with, um, with Van Tangoff and Demidoff, quite clearly if Lee Strasberg had been, um, had been privy to this information before he died, I feel that he would be using this information now to evolve the process, to evolve the technique. So I feel that I'm justified in doing this because, and the other thing is I couldn't put my head on, on the pillow at night knowing that I'd found a, a quicker, easier, more effective way to train actors to be you know, profound in their work and to be deeply expressive and, and to have complete organic freedom and not 
um, and not teach it, right? So that is really what's happened over the last eight years. And I spent a lot of time as well with my own students and actors um, going through this new process. And I even brought it into production. I, I did a production of Miss Julie where we used this approach and to, to great acclaim. It went absolutely fantastically well. And it didn't stop there, you know, it's continued to, to evolve since that time as well. Um, so I'm very excited by it. And it's something that I truly believe that you should be getting your hands on because um, from an acting perspective, it's pretty revolutionary and it will allow you to deeply immerse yourself very, very quickly. In fact, I'm talking about in seconds. I know that sounds insane, I know that sounds crazy, but there's a way of using the unconscious that, that makes that possible and it makes it much more creative and free for the actor to, to do. So that is the reasoning behind why I've done this. And um, I hope that makes sense to you. And um, who knows, I might get to see you in the future and uh, get the chance to, to show you how it works. But there we go, Timony Method.